Hello everyone, this is Venugopal. Today in this video, we'll see how to create a web page using Java server pages that is JSP that takes a number as an input from the user and displays the factorial of a given number. To do so, we will open the Eclipse editor by selecting a proper workspace. And now we are talking about JSP. This is a Java server pages. It's a technology uh, which is used to develop a dynamic uh, web pages. So for that purpose, first of all, let me check whether we have opened in the uh, advanced Java that is enterprise edition perspective or not. If not, then we need to open that in a perspective Java double E. Open it. Then I'll click on file and I'll select here dynamic web project. I'll give the name as JSP programs. Click on next, next and click on finish. Now you can see here the new project is created here inside this. Now right click on this JSP programs. First of all, whenever we want to develop a JSP programs, that is a dynamic web projects. So to run the dynamic web project, we need a server. So first of all, let me configure the server into my this project that is JSP program. So to do so here, uh, just inside, you can see here in the console screen, the server tab, click on the server. No server is available. Okay, fine. No issue. We will click on this. I've installed Apache Tomcat server. You can see my previous videos, how to install and configure Tomcat to Eclipse. Click on next. Here you need to select the installation directory. Okay, I'll go back and I'll select the directory that is where I've installed sem one Java. And here it is, select folder, fine. Now click on next. JSP programs. Okay, finish. So here you can see at the bottom line Tomcat 9 point server at localhost. Currently the status is stopped. Right click on this. Just click on start. It will be started. The Tomcat server is now ready. This is the first step. Okay, the second step is what we need to because uh, uh, I have to develop a JSP a program or simply you can say one dynamic project. So to design one page or a simple page, better to use a simple technology that is a HTML technology. So what I'll do, I'll select one HTML file here. And here I'll rename this as, I want to find the factorial of the number. So I'll give the name of this HTML page as fact. Finish. It will create the fact HTML page, right? That is the beauty of Eclipse. Now inside this, I want to write down, if you want to give a title, you can give a title also. Okay, I will directly uh, do the program. Under the body section, I'll take some designing part. So you know that, how to do that. These are the basic stuffs. Form action equals to, I want to take action whenever the form is clicked, I want to call what fact.jsp page, right? Don't worry, I have not created the JSP page, but in a moment we'll create that. Now enter a number. That is okay. The number will be entered. So we need to take the input type. So we need to select the input type. Input type is always as a text. Okay. And I'll give some name to that variable name is equals to let us take this as a num number then i want some brick simply next line after that i want one button to submit so again i'll take input type equals to submit okay so that's all uh 
it will give a simple uh, page. Right now, we have not created a JSP page. So that is what it's showing an error. So how to run this page? Just we'll check whether the proper, uh, I mean, the label is created or not, and it is asking the number or not. Okay, so how to do that? Simply right click on this body, right? And you have to select here, run as server. Okay, save. Tomcat, I'll select always. Next, you have to select the JSP program. This is my project name. You may have multiple projects. Okay, so when you are having a multiple project, you have to select which project you want to execute on the server. So right now there is only one project. So click on finish. It is executing and it will pop up the browser. As you know, that HTML pages are executing on the internally on the browsers. Some process is going on internal. Okay, fine. It's asking for the restart server. That is a Tomcat server. Restart it. And uh, in a moment, we'll have uh, the page web page where it is asking the enter number yeah this is the web page right enter a number i want to enter a number for example four right but whenever i'll click you please observe this url now right it is a fact.html the moment i'll click on the submit you know in the form we have created one action that is fact.jsp okay so now observe the url click on submit the request is going right factor.js with the request is going right by taking the number also right so uh, what happened the request is going but we have not created any jsp file that is the reason why it is giving an error fact.jsp is not found okay fine so how to do that so by default it is a get method that is the reason why you are able to see the parameters right so whenever in a form if i'm not giving any method here method equals to if i'm not giving any method so it's by default it is taking as a get method right if i don't want to show this parameter you can take this as a post method then you are not going to get that details in the url list that is post just to show right click or else what i'll do i'll just refresh it Go back, refresh it again. Five submit. Oh, what happened? Okay. Need to run again. Right click, run as server. Okay, four submit. Fine, something is this equals to post. Anyway, because uh, fine, no problem. Let us complete this program first, then we'll come to that point. Okay, now I want to create a JSP file. Okay, so how to do that? Simply we'll go back to our project explorer, right click on this new, and I want to create a JSP file. Click on JSP directly and see here, the name should be same, whatever you have mentioned here in the form action. So it's a small letters. So I'll take a small letter like fact dot JSP. Click on finish. It will open the JSP file. Okay. If you want, you can give a title like fact of number. It will be appear on the title of the browser. Fact of number. Fine. After that, under this body, or you can say after this head, what I'll do, I have to write the JSP code inside the HTML page. So whenever I want to write a JSP code inside an HTML or Java code, we need to use a scriptlet, right? What is scriptlet? Scriptlet which separates your Java code with the HTML code. So how to, this is a symbol, right? Now inside this, we have to write the logic. What is the logic? 
Now, whenever the user is sending a number from here, whenever the user is sending the number, this one, this number has to be captured in this particular JSP page. Okay, so how to do that? I'll declare a number, n is equal to, now that number we are passing from the browser that will be in the integer format, oh, sorry, that will be in the string format. So we need to convert that. So we knew that integer dot parse int, we need to convert that. And to get that uh, number, we have object to call request. Okay, these are the objects of HTTP methods. <clears throat> request dot get parameter in the bracket we need to pass that name that variable name the variable name is num semicolon this is the first step so i have taken that number the number which is passed through this particular html page right that number will come and store in the my variable that is n after that we'll require one variable int fact equals to initially you know that the basic logic fact is equals to one after that we'll apply loop for int i is equals to one int i equals to one i less than equals to n obviously and i plus plus very simple logic here this int is duplicated okay fine no problem now here I'll write the formula fact is equal to fact into i. And after that, I want to print the result. Okay, fine. How to print that? We have an object called as outer dot println in JSP. Inside here, I'll print the factorial of a number colon the result is stored in a fact that's it the job is done now again we'll go to the jsp page this one and right click click on run click on server now this time i'll enter six and click on submit you will get the answer the factorial of a number is 720 so we have successfully created one web page where the web page is taking one number right it has been calculated in the JSP, right? And it sends back that uh, request to the browser, right? If you want to change some beautification or colors, you can put this all stuff inside the like body, right? If you want to change the color, for example, I don't want to print here. You can do that also. So same statement, I'll copy, cut. And inside this body, like I'll select a BG, color is equals to suppose I'm taking a blue color blue is my favorite inside this again we need to do the scriptlet separate tag because we are using again Java inside HTML to separate out we need to use this one control V fact that's all control s let us check right click run as server suppose this time will take three click on this what happened something goes wrong factor dot gsp bg color body bg oh sorry spelling mistake it's a color fine control s go back right click run as server Three. click on that you are getting the result this greater than symbol might be in that code probably yeah this one this is coming control s go back go back this time five submit you're getting 120 so that's it this is a very simple program to develop a uh, just i wanted to show how we are going to create a web pages so simple logic i've used uh, to calculate the factor of a given number right so we will come up with more videos till then keep watching bye bye